Hi, this is PC Roger, and this video is going to show you how you can prevent your machine from overheating, locking up, even damaging itself from operating when it's dirty and that the uh, dirt then keeping the machine hot, hotter than its specs. And this can cause Windows blue screen to death. It can cause the machine to actually just, just reboot uh, of its own volition, so to speak, or shut down as a protective measure. And some people don't really realize what all needs to be cleaned. Now, the first thing I want to mention is that you want to back up your machine before you begin the process. Make sure all your data is backed up. I've got a lot of help on how to do that at my website, pcroger.com. You can stop over there and take a look if you have any doubt. But the kind of air that we're going to blow it out with is the canned air that you see there in the back. It's moisture free. It's designed for electrical components, uh, electrical uh, devices like computers. You can pick it up uh, off a lot of places. And what we're trying to do is get the dust and dirt and lint off of the components. The silicone chips that you see on the board will actually kind of attract dirt, especially in, in manufacturing environments. And then that dirt and dust and lint acts as an insulator, keeping those components warm, which is quite the opposite of what you want. The, uh, the fans in the machine are meant to draw air over those components and cool them, so they have to be clean. Now there are different types of video cards and, and other uh, types of components in there, but uh, this one that's in this Dell Dimension computer actually is of a fanless design. It's just a heat sink. You can't really see it too well. It's down in here. It's just the uh, a black heat sink itself. There is no, uh, no actual fan on that device. And, uh, and that's pretty common in a lot of these machines. In fact, even if I build a PC, I try to get, get by with a fanless design if I can. Uh, here's another video card that I'll put in front of the camera here. And as you can see, it's got a fan on it. It's only going to last so long. That's the, the first problem with it. But secondly, uh, it is going to draw a lot of air in there, a lot of dirt. And you want to make sure and get those cooling fins clean when you do clean a, uh, your PC. One of the things you will not see on a, a Dell or a certain uh, you know, type of you know, big name computers is the standard uh, CPU with a fan. Uh, if you, uh, you build your own PC or something, or have a custom built PC, you'll probably see something like this. And the fan blades will collect a lot of uh, dirt and lint. You'll want to get those cleaned off. And these cooling fins, you want to make sure that there's not uh, dirt packed in there, which is oftentimes the case. Now you will need to know that uh, some of these machines do have shrouds, like this green shroud. And there can be different ways of you know, unlatching them. They usually hinge in some way. These fins here need to be clean and you can blow air in through those vents to, uh, you know, direct it in through there to get the dirt out. There's also a, uh, a fan in the back here then that uh, is designed to pull air over those cooling fins and, uh, and keep the, the CPU at the temperature that's designed to run at. There are also uh, vents in the power supply just above the CPU there. The vents in the power supply you're going to want to blow air through. You want to get that all cleaned out. There are areas in the back of the PC and in the front really. On the back here you can see the power supply with the fan in there, fan down here. Those are areas you're going to want to keep clean. There are also many times different venting areas on the front of the machine also. Here's a newer Dell Precision Workstation T3400 and you can see on the front of the, of the box and down below just a lot of uh, vented areas that are going to hopefully dry air through. Those will need to be cleaned out and uh, pretty easy to do. Again that can of compressed air will do a nice job. Here you can see the back of that same machine. Again all those vented screen areas are going to need to be uh, cleaned out. They're potential areas for uh, dust, dirt, lint to get in there and block the airflow. Now here's the inside of that T3400. This machine also has a, a fanless design on the video card, which is under here. It's actually uh, not facing the camera, the, the heat sink. It's just a black heat sink. There's no fan. But you just need to make sure those, those fins are clear. And it has a shroud, and this would only be for kind of deep cleaning. There are, there's a screw down here and down here and uh, you have to kind of get the floppy drive cable out of the way if your machine has a floppy. Most don't. That's why I do order them with it. Uh, and this shroud 
then uh, kind of tips back and you can get it completely get into the fan which is underneath here or the uh, cooling fins for the processor here now since these machines do not have a cooling fan directly on the, the fins of the heat sink uh, it is very critical that you get the air moving through here at the at the desired uh, rate of flow in order to keep the machine cool and prevent the reboots and the blue screens of death etc but again you know if you're not comfortable maybe you need to take it you know to a a computer professional have this done. It's usually not too big of a job and you don't have to take anything apart if it's not real dirty. But you know, can air like that and uh, take it outside, blow it out. You're going to add life to your machine. You're going to save money by not replacing it as soon. You're going to save yourself a lot of frustration by not having you know the reboots and the blue screen of death and, and that, all those other types of inconveniences that really nobody wants. You just want to use your computer, get your work done, or, or if you're playing on the computer, you're going to want to play and you don't want to don't want the machine to malfunction on you and keeping it clean is going to go a long way toward accomplishing that goal for you. That's really it for this video. Please stop by my website, pcroger.com. Got a lot of other information there. I've got videos and articles, a free e-letter you can sign up for. Please stop by. I do appreciate you watching this video.